Charlene Ruto has faced massive backlash online after breaking her silence on their finance bill. This was yesterday when people stormed parliament. Her post reads, I stand at a very unique position regarding the issues facing my country, Kenya, as we speak. As a president's daughter, I have no doubt in my mind, watching my father rise in politics for over 30 years. Seeing his work and passion behind the scenes, that he truthfully holds the best interests of Kenyans at heart. As a youth champion, I hear the cry of this generation and give my kudos that we not only care about current affairs, but we have a stand and are willing to raise our concerns. This is a game changer. Let's do it consistently in an informed manner with respect and honor. That is how we will be heard. May we dwell in unity, peace, and liberty. A way will be made. Hashtag committed to pray. Hashtag trusting the process. Hashtag finance bill 2024 with the Kenyan flag. And on her IG stories, she went ahead to post a link to the finance bill 2024, just urging people to read it and to get some facts about it. And right now, if you don't post anything like reject finance bill, people are of the opinion, my friend, you are not reading the room. And that is how this post of hers was met online. She calls herself a youth champion, pan-Africanist and a member of the deaf community. Those are exemplary things to put on your bio, but when it comes to actually showing that you're a youth champion, my friend, <laughs> she didn't read the room clearly. The post sparked so much outrage that even celebrities who normally don't comment on such things called her out. Media personality Lynn Googie, who was also present at the Reject Financial protest, wrote a kinda long post, I'll read it. I don't know why people are scared of telling you the truth. You're not a youth champion. A youth champion would have read the bill and tabled to their audience what they think is right stroke wrong with the finance bill youth champions are out there with the people for a common goal a youth champion is not sitting on the fence posting weeks later about the finance bill telling us how the father has passion yada 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 a youth champion is not taking pics in different angles ready to lecture us on what nots you are the one who chose to be vocal about the politics of this nation so when it's time to speak we don't expect you to be 50 50 speak now with other youths or forever hold your peace and tell your father to tell his people to stop shooting at innocent kenyans in exclamation mark Content creator Esther Kazongo asked her, did his work and passion in quotes include abducting innocent citizens and shooting at peaceful protesters? Question mark. Because I don't know why you're proud of that nonsense, to which someone second, good question here. I am Mara commented, one day you'll be a commoner and you will look back and wonder why you never stood with the right path of history. Ashley Isabel says, don't you dare address us again, and Hume, I don't know if I pronounced that right, says, you are not a youth champion, simple, we are tired. For this particular post, Charlene Ruto wore a t-shirt written born in the 90s, I think to remind you people that she's also a youth, and she posed on different angles, this is what Lynn Gogi was mocking her for, and... In light of yesterday's events, the president addressing the nation, the protests, the post has garnered 11,000 comments. She hardly guessed, sorry, gets this kind of engagement. It just shows you how much people were angry by this post, the outrage it has caused. What do you think of her comments? Is she sitting on the fence? Is she a conflicted youth champion as she claimed Ama should have just kept quiet altogether? In my opinion, she didn't read the room. She should have just kept quiet altogether. What do you guys think? Engage with us in the comment section. Also, join us on Telegram. We have more news there. The link will be on the description box. Do subscribe on our YouTube channel here for more news. Catch you next time.